Day five completed. <laughs> Warning, this is a project that is doomed to fail. Do not try this at home because it's totally stupid. I'm not a professional and I'm probably not gonna last the entire week, but what happens if you kickstart your body with seven intervals in seven days? Okay, but you might actually learn something from this video though. I've tried to find the perfect intervals for this week. And we start off with a banger, four times four, which was a huge trend interval about eight to 10 years ago, especially for those cross country skiing. And they pushed their bodies to the max. And this interval actually pushed them a little bit too far in some cases. Okay, that was hard, but it was manageable. And just because of that, there's actually a lot of people who use four times four, including heart patients. Day two, let's go the research way. This might be one of the most efficient intervals right now. It's called 30, 15, so 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of break. Day two completed, 15 second breaks are too short and 30 second intervals are too short as well. I didn't get into a groove at all. It was kind of a hard thing to get through and I struggled the entire time. Not my favorite interval, but I love the shoes. Day three, body's not feeling too well. I'm coughing and I'm not sleeping that much, but who cares? So let's get into it. Hill sprints. This is the Ingebrigtsen way. They do it every Saturday and it's one of their pillars for success. They do six to eight repeats, 40 second long, three times. Okay, day three completed. It wasn't fun. I think it's a really good exercise though. I just think my body's getting a little bit tired. <sighs> Interval training is a great way to get stronger and faster in a heartbeat. But research has also seen that it's kind of hard on your body. They recommend 30 to 40 minutes above 90% of your heart rate, especially if you're normal like me. If you're a professional with a huge load of training behind you, then you might manage a little bit more. And after three days, I'm about 30 minutes in. So I'm kind of getting to the edge right now. Day four, what a great day. I got a pounding headache, but I slept really nicely. So today is a more lenient interval day. It's fart luck. <sighs> okay, day four completed. It wasn't too hard, but I still almost puked right now. So body's feeling it. Oh. One of the great things about Fartlek is that you can forget your watch and just run on feel. And I did that today and it was actually pretty nice. So tomorrow I might be doing the same thing, but in a totally different way. It's day five, three days to go. <coughs> it's day five, three days to go. And today is trail day. I got my trail shoes on and trail is sort of intervals by themselves. But today I'm doing trail hill intervals. And that means every time I hit a hill, I push. And then on the flat and downhill parts, I cruise and recover. So the same structure as yesterday, 10 minutes warm up, 20 minutes of push, and then 10 minutes cool down. This might be a little bit hard because I found the most hilly part of Denmark, almost. I don't know, but close to it. <sighs> 
Day five completed. <laughs> this was really, really hard. Maybe one of the hardest intervals I've done so far. I've, my body's, <laughs> my body is struggling with speaking and I'm coughing so much. So my body is a little bit sore right now. Might be a little bit sick. Day six, pyramids. I really hate pyramid intervals. I don't like changing the pace too much during an interval session. So I find this pyramid really hard to master. So pyramid intervals is shorter to longer to shorter intervals again. And I'm doing minute intervals. Some can do distances. I'm doing minutes today. And then I'm doing it, pushing through, finishing day six. Day six, pyramids went really well, actually. I did one, two, three, four, three, two, one in minutes, and I did half the break of the previous interval. So I'm pretty happy about that. Now, it's seven in the evening, and for me, it's time to sleep. Day seven, it's finally here. Seven days of intervals, and I'm finishing with a banger. That's a 2K with active breaks. So that's a really hard one. I'm doing four sets. It's gonna be hard. I'm gonna love it. Day seven done. I'm completely done. Let's talk tomorrow. Seven intervals. Seven days, a stupid project that got even stupider with an added sick bonus, but it was fun nonetheless, and that was the point. Don't take my data seriously, it wasn't done in any scientific way whatsoever, but do go out and try some of the intervals and write a comment down below on what is your favorite. Until next time, have a great run.